All right, folks, welcome to this new video. Uh, so try to focus uh, on this one because we'll see an important secret on the financial markets when it comes to dealing with the fractal geometry. Uh, a lot of people uh, know about the fractality on the financial markets, but few people know the real strategy, the real uh, structure of the financial markets based on this phenomenon. So right here, if there is any physician you will understand very very uh, well uh, this video because we'll understand uh, something called in french les uh, or in english i think i'm not very very sure but i think it's the waves in the water or something like this so okay so right here if we pay attention we'll see that we have a surface of water okay and when we throw an object on the surface We'll notice something very important and very helpful, but we can see it later on the financial markets, that we have big circles right here, okay? So every time we have bigger and bigger circles, but you should know that this big circle right here, initially it was a small circle right here, okay? But over the time, through the time, the circle is getting bigger and bigger, okay? Because of this phenomenon. Of course, we will not go deep on this phenomenon. I remember that I have studied this in university before, and it's very, very efficient on the financial markets to understand the fractal nature of the financial markets. So, if we go to the view chart right here, uh, so we have executed, uh, by the way, a long position uh, at this level right here on the golden chart today on the one minute time frame. So, maybe some of you will think. The reason behind this execution right now is this ECW model right here. If you have watched the previous videos on YouTube, you would think that this is ECW model, okay? And you have the trend line. And I want to tell you that this is wrong, okay? If you will use this TCW model right here to execute this long position, you will not come to this and you will get stopped out when you execute a long position right here. Why? Because we don't have the same self similarity and the same scale on the same time, okay? That's why this TCW model will fail and that's why we will not refer to this one to execute a long position. So, why we have executed the long position since this one was wrong? The idea is a little bit different, okay? Usually when we take a fractal, and this is what everyone knows, that fractal Geometry is about taking a small shape and scale it on a bigger wave. And this is the idea of the video that we have seen at the beginning, Les on down low, or the waves, that we have a small wave and over time it will get bigger and bigger. And you have seen this before on the previous videos, that we take a small shape and we scale it on a bigger one every time. But right here on this chart we have a mysterious thing. wave is getting smaller over the time. Right here we have something that we call it a scale range analysis and we talked about this before. So when we have this phenomena in the opposite way getting smaller and smaller, this means that right here we are dealing with a scale range analysis model. Okay, so this fractal right here is not wrong, okay? This is the right fractal. But the idea why you will get stopped out when you trade this one, because you will not scale it the right way. So knowing just that this is the right fractal, it doesn't mean that you will succeed. You will need to know how to scale it on the chart. That's why I take a copy for this movement right here, and I come to the chart, I will scale it from this though. So, I'll try to reset the movement and then scale, reset the movement every time and then scale the high with the high, the low with the low. So we can see the self-similarity on this uptrend right here. And also if we translate the fractal a little bit right here, we'll see that is also similar and has the same scale as this one right here. So this was the real reason and the right reason to execute this trade and to target the all-time high of the last week on the golden chart. So. 
the confirmation right here, we can use the simple fractal uh, TCW model. And so we can understand that this is a geometric area, a strong geometric area. And this fractal right here is right, but it's a scaled fractal from the back, okay, in this way. So what we can learn from this video, that if we can see waves getting smaller and smaller over the time, we know that we are in a case of a scaled trench analysis, okay? And also, knowing the right fractal, getting the right fractal is not enough to have good grades. I need also to know how I will scale or how I will scale this fractal based on the reference points, okay? So I hope that you understand this idea. Try to go to the chart and apply it by yourself. And we'll just now wait for the trade. I will put my stop loss. <coughs> so my stop loss along position, okay? So right here, this is my profit and my stop loss as usual. 40 pips in this way, and that's it. I'll just let the trade plays out and I will update it later. Thank you so much. All right, folks, welcome back. So as you can see right here, the price goes from our entry point straight to the take a profit right here. This is the reality of fractal geometry. Now we'll uh, try to go through the examples that you have sent on the private chat and we'll try to correct some mistakes of course, right here, this Good morning, is our folks. entry uh, on this trade from this level, and then we take our profits at this high. So, I have received some of your uh, charts. So, for example, this one right here, he works with the TCW model, and you said that everyone will work with the TCW model right here is not the right way because you can't scale it. And they can see right here, he didn't cover all the wave. Uh, he tried to force the fractal, so this is wrong. So, uh, okay, this chart is not clear, but uh, from what I can see right here, the trend line, I think he used the TCW model also, uh, and this is wrong. So, right here, uh, we have a nice try. Uh, so, uh, I think he worked with the skillet range analysis, uh, but this is wrong. It's a good idea to think, uh, to think about the skillet range analysis, uh, but right here, this is wrong, okay? Uh, because if we go to the chart, so he take this on the one minute. So I think he take a copy. Okay, it's not clear at all. Sorry about this, but I don't understand from where you get this wave. It's not similar to what we have right here on the chart. Uh, so yeah, he take this one right here. He take this one right here. And he think that this one was rescaled right here. Okay, so if we pay attention, there is no self similarity between the big movement, small movement right here. There is no similarity at all, especially this particular shape at the end didn't exist right here. And if we suppose that this is the one, we'll have an issue with the balance of the scale right here. So, uh, nice try, nice idea to think about the scaled fractal, but this is wrong. Okay, this is not. How to find it or how to locate it so okay this trade right here uh, so this guy take this fractal from here or this movement from here so to pay attention we'll see that we don't have enough reference points right here okay so you take a copy of this wave right here we'll try to go through this example so you can know your mistakes and you try to avoid them next time. So he take this copy right here, okay. And then he will scale it. So when you scale such movement in this way, when you scale it, you need at least to cover this pullback, okay? But you didn't cover this one. So how you will cover it? There is no pullback on the movement that will be able to cover this pullback. So you will try to force the fractal the way I'm doing right here, so it will be uh, very, very hard to get an entry point. Even the place of this movement right here doesn't have any relation with fractals. So that's why this example will not work, because already he will wait for lower, lower right here, and then the price was rejecting. So this is wrong also. Okay, right here, right here from the first side, this is not the right fractal because it doesn't have any details, uh, doesn't have any reference points. So this will not work. So right here, 
Okay, he think about an L in one direction model. So I think this one is good. Let me check on the 15 minute. I think this one is right. Just we need to check it on the chart. So I think he works with this one right here. Okay, so we take a copy for this one. See your problem right here, mate. When we scale this one, okay, uh, because I think you force it the fractal right here. Okay, in this way, yeah, you didn't scale it the right way. Okay, so even right here, even right here, when we scale it the right way, okay, this is for example, let's say that this is an L in one direction model, but it's wrong. But if I scale it in this way, if I scale it in this way. Price right here should reject when we are right yesterday right here. Price should reject from here, okay? But you can see right here, this is the level of rejection using the fractal that you have taken. But this is wrong from the beginning because you don't have the right structure. And then when you will take the long position, you will wait for this level right here. And you don't even have a rejection from the same level right here, okay? And also another mistake, even... Even the scale fits right here without any problem the way you do it right here. You can't execute a long position from this level, okay? This is wrong. Because the end of the fractal doesn't mean that the fractal will reject always. There are some rules to execute this, okay? So try to pay attention to this. When I have a fractal and I scale it on the chart, the end of the fractal right here doesn't mean the reversal, okay? This is a big issue on financial markets when it comes to fractal geometry. So try to pay attention to this one. This is a good example uh, right here. But the idea of the continuation in this way have some rules, okay? We can't execute it the way we want, okay? Taking a long position from here will not work always. You need to uh, follow some rules. And even right here, you don't have a rejection from this level. So this will not work. So I hope that you get some knowledge from this video. Uh, if you are interested to learn fractal geometry the right way, because the only one that have uh, find the right fractal yesterday was one of our students was Omar Silvestro right here on this chart right here he find the same fractal that I uh, work with uh, so if you are interested to learn fractal geometry the right way you can contact our support on telegram you will find all the links on the description and you can visit our website simplesfractals.com thank you so much